Alicia and Brian, more than 100 teachers left Cabarrus County Schools since the start of the school year. And just to give you an idea and some perspective here, the district has more than 2,200 teachers, but because some teachers are ditching the district, others are having to lift a heavier load. They're tired, they're exhausted, they're burned out. Teachers are calling it quits in the middle of the school year. I think the toughest thing has been um, just covering classes. Daniel Helms teaches social studies at Northwest Cabarrus High School. He doesn't get paid extra when he takes on additional classes because there aren't enough teachers or substitutes. I've had to cover more this year than my whole career combined. Um, and, and just because we have nobody else, and I think that runs us pretty ragged. Cabarrus County Schools tell me since the start of the school year, 130 teachers left the district. 43 teachers left since December 1st of 2021. Kim Biondi retired in the middle of this school year as soon as she was eligible. I left because once you understand that parents see you as a glorified babysitter, and once you understand that there are people in the county who don't care if you put your health at risk um, or who don't care how many hours you have to work, once you understand that, you don't unsee it. Kristen McDowell left the traditional classroom for health reasons to teach in the virtual academy. She says it was tough to see colleagues leave the district because she says they wouldn't make accommodations for the teachers. It really felt tragic at the time. Um, even when I knew I was, you know, I had secured this surprise employment <laughs> and another, like I really never saw this coming. So it was truly a miracle for me to remain employed. Queen City News first broke the story last month of the school board voting to give executives and administrators big bonuses. Now teacher bonuses are on the table. There is this anger, you know, to see, wait a minute, these people that get paid way more than I do are getting these kinds of bonuses. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't want it to pit, you know, teachers against executives. We're all part of the school district. You know, great that they got bonuses. All right, now, how are you going to take care of the teachers? Now, this morning, I did not see those teacher bonuses on the agenda for tonight's school board meeting, so I reached out to the school board chair, and now they are on the agenda. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is going to be at that meeting tonight, and she'll have an update for you tonight at 10. Brian?